With Neon being released in Veteran, the Agent Select screen becomes the Wild West where people are fighting to pick Neon first. See ya. Oh. Although you may not have the immediate chance to play Neon, you can at least have a better understanding of what Neon can do and how to counter her. Hey, my name is Andrew and I'm a 400RR Immortal 3 player. I'm able to fill with many agents, which is why I was happy to try them all during my invite to the Riot content creator Neon Playtest, where I have learned how it feels to both play her as well as how to play against her. As people become more experienced with Neon, her playstyle will evolve, but for now, Neon seems to be an extremely aggressive agent on both attack and defense. She's quick for rotations, hard to track, and excellent with other agent ability combos. If you're either a casual or competitive variant player, then this guy will be catered towards you, as pro play is drastically different from what most people experience in game. Why it will be frustrating playing against the Neon? After playing against Neon for over 20 plus games, I can see that many players may have issues playing against her. This is due to her fast movement, having the element of surprise when she pops out of a wall, and the various potential agent combos with, for example, Breach, Yoru, and Sky. Speeding up may seem like a simple ability, but imagine it on a much macro scale. Everyone who has built up a decent map understanding will have certain timings that they will subconsciously keep in track. With Neon being able to speed herself up, these timings may be thrown askew and it is very easy for players to be caught off guard when playing against the Neon. Arguably, the best part of her utility is a stun grenade. With two area of effects with an almost instant stun, Neon can take control parts of the map quite easily. In terms of her ult, picture a jet that's faster but more grounded. She can maneuver around whilst having lightning zapping from her fingers, being able to kill anyone in less than 1.5 seconds. She won't immediately replace any jet slash rainer mains as duelists, but could be seen as a possible third duelist, replacing initiator as she can pretty much divide a site and open it up for her teammates with her utility. Neon's obvious counter. Before we get into abilities and how to play around them, the most obvious counter to Neon is the agent KO, who counters every agent and is mainly used on maps like Breeze, Ascent and Bind. Even without Neon being released, we have seen an uptick in KO being played due to KO's ability suppression, having a high impact on executions and retakes. For VCT Masters Berlin, KO had a pick rate of 3.06%, while for VCT Champions, KO's pick rate increased to 18.31% and this was without Chamber being available to play. Kale's suppression abilities both cancel out Neon Sprint and Ultimate, which makes her say a setting duck. And with his buffed Pop Flash from several patches ago, you can take aggressive peeks against her which will be explained more in the next part. Another agent that works well against Neon is Cypher, since you should always have your flanks covered with the tripwire. There is no major interaction with Neon and Cypher trips except that she can slide under them unless they are properly placed trips. With Cyphers usually placing their cams up high, it is very probable for a Cypher to tag Neon from above her wall, allowing for her teammates to shoot through the wall as if it was a normal smoke. How to play against Neon on attack with Neon's sprint ability, Neons will tend to play aggressively on both attack and defense, which means you should play further back at the start of the round, as she may use a stun immediately or some will pop flash for her. However, when Neon is in sprint mode, the sound of her footsteps changes and becomes louder. She also takes a few split seconds to pull out her gun after exiting sprint mode. If you're playing on her time, she has the chance to play around cover and be able to switch to her gun. I would suggest that you aggressively peek her or flash her while she's sprinting. This will work most of the time, however if the Neon has a slide, this becomes trickier to pull off as she can slide to cover or outmaneuver you. If the Neon does decide to start playing passively on attack, you should be wary of her when committing to a push or execute onto site. With small choke points like a short on bind, she can just use the stun to stop the push. So always keep in mind how much utility she has left. 
Treat her like a raised double statue with O if you will. Always try to figure out where Neon is playing, and if you do decide to execute onto the site, you must do it quickly since Neon can rotate super fast. When playing against Neon on defense, you must be aware of her footsteps, as she can just run it down with a wall and surprise you, and she is quick to rotation and flanks. Oh, main, main, main. One, one of these guys is strong. Yeah. Just, just ignore it. Just ignore it. <laughs> Neon's stun grenade will make it difficult to hold close angles since she can bounce it off walls. You either play farther back for retake, or your team should play aggressively at the start to secure an area of the map. As much as Neon is able to entry side with her wall and stuns, be just as careful for a fake. With her wall being able to split apart sides and flashes being thrown left and right, it is easy for a Neon to fake commit to a bomb site. Just keep this in mind as it would be a super high level tactic for a Neon to fake a site whilst the teammates shift onto the opposite side. I think they got like, just as fucking blind shit. One enemy remaining. Oh. Nice. With Neon's wall, she can cut vision and allow her team to enter onto the site. Good Neon players will also maneuver in and out of the walls to catch their opponents off guard. However, if she does use a wall, you can utilize Pika's advantage and swing into the wall to get a kill or two. One enemy remaining. You can also have your own Neon use their wall to cut the wall which makes everything chaotic and lower the frames of anyone with a potato PC. Where am I? One enemy remaining. Ah, I, don't know. Last player standing. I don't have my thing? Oh shit. Oh, no. Nice. Oh. Really, like, <clears throat> the way you strafe and shit is so fast. Aim training. With Valorant being a game focused on click timing and flicking, many players are not used to tracking unless they come from an Overwatch background. Most people are familiar with aim lamps and clicking on balls to pop them, but there are also other aim training routines that help with tracking your opponent. Feel free to train up to be Neon Main's demise with some aim lamps tasks such as Strafe Track, Sphere Track, and Switch Track. I hope this better prepares you when you go against a Neon. Since she was just released, her playstyle is still in its infancy, so there is always room for her to evolve as more people are able to play her. In summary, Play aggressively against her while she is sprinting. Always be wary of her flanking. Be careful holding close angles because of her bouncing stun grenade. If she uses a wall, you can use that to your advantage and peek in it to get an unexpected kill. If you aim train, start incorporating tracking exercises. Thank you everyone for watching, my name is Andrew and I stream daily over at twitch.tv slash andrew. Feel free to come over and say hi or with any questions you may have in regards to improving on veteran. I hope this guide helps you shut down all the instant neons you'll be finding in your rank games. Good luck and have fun.